PA Camping Dad, Doogie. I'm going to perform a pole mod on this uh, winter tarp. So I've been sketching it up and got a prototype here. Uh, I guess I have two, four, six, eight sections of tent pole. The aluminum and I've made a couple pockets on the corners here check that I'm in frame mm -hmm. it looks like I should do that so I'll come in and zoom zoom in on this later right now these pockets are just uh, safety pinned put four safety pins on them to keep them in place and you just simply slide the end of the pole into the one. The other end, flex it up. Slide the other end in. And this is just a piece of shock cord here that uh, I can pull it. Put to the D-ring, and you can see how much more space that uh, opens up. And uh, once I have it all set up, you can raise one side and uh, kind of do a porch mode without having the the pole there. You'll still have a guy line coming down to keep it from blowing away. But, uh, so I'll show you how I did that and. We'll get to the details. I took pieces of uh, this was reinforcing fabric. Uh, not sure what the denier is. Something like 20. It's not quite pack fabric, but it's it's heavy duty stuff. Uh, got a yard or two a couple years, long time ago, um, and uh, used it. Sold as reinforcing. It comes a foot wide. But anyway, so I cut out four pieces that were two inches by six inches, and I'll start by doing a rolled hem on the ends. <clears throat> so after you have the rolled hem on both ends, and I like to fold it over and leave leave one end higher than the other so it'll make it easier to slip it into the pocket and we'll sew it down on this edge and leave this uh, edge open to get into so then on this have that overlapping little bit on the one side and then just do a single roll on the back because it'll be completely covered later. doing this on the thin fabric you do have to watch it because it'll can burn right through it but this this fabric's pretty tough and there we go one pocket make three more of those and this will be sewn onto the tarp in the corner of the tarp on the inside just basically overlay it like that be slipped in from the end. And 
to repeat that for the other three corners. So, this is my first uh, full test with the pocket sewn in the corners. Um, it's very nice inside. Trying to get some sort of shot of it. So the dark spots you see there and there, you can even see the pullout there, are pullouts that I had on the tarp that I have used with hiking poles. So that's, I don't know if that's where those, these crossbars really want to sit. You can push them a little. Well, I'm not sure if this is really where it wants to be sitting. It's as far in as it'll go right now. And I haven't measured it, but it looks like a little over three feet from the end there. I was thinking of it coming more to here. So I think I'm going to have to shorten these up a little. But it's pretty neat. Uh, I think that'll also help with this so it can be up like this. And this is just, uh, see, this is not even doing anything right now. But it can be. Cinch down these corners. I'm gonna have to move the camera and move it inside. So this corner I have I have up right now. I have this corner up right now. Just uh, be easier from that side. down it makes a really really cavernous setup it keeps the walls way off just such a nice arc but uh, I need to shorten these a little so they can swing closer to the end so the way this thing works is there's a these poles are flexed up and it's longer than the width of the hammock. You flex it up, you start it to the inside, and then you tie this little shock cord, gets hooked. Hopefully we can see the shock cord gets hooked. I just have it hooked onto the D-ring here. Not the tarp. So then when you release it, the bar, Will fall down. Start with this package. It's, uh, eight poles and uh, a small piece of shock cord. And I like to do it halves. Assemble your pole. Looks like the pocket's pretty well open. Slide one end in a pocket over here. Okay. Sew it on the tarp, right in the reinforcing area. That's your pole assembly. And just flex the pole to the center of the tarp. Slide it in your other pocket. You take your bungee cord, and you fasten it. I've done it to the ridge line, I've done it to the B ring, just did it to the D ring there. And that holds it up. I'm thinking if I was just an inch or two skinnier on my dimension, I'd be able to pull it further. I think I have a shorter pole already that I'll try swapping in for one of these and see if it works better. Tweaking it. 
So this is my setup here at Maha. The uh, pole mod has been doing well. Get in here. One thing I found was the first night I came in and I normally have my tarp tied, the doors tied back like that with the bungee. And I had that on the porch side up here. I didn't have these down. And the bungee cord was causing the water to back up behind it. Didn't have any problem on this side at that pitch, but when I had it out in porch mode, it was collecting water. It wasn't too much water that collected, it drained. But it had like, I don't know, half a gallon. Probably not even that. Well, I certainly am not going to take the whole mod with me backpacking, but for the shoulder seasons, uh, early spring, late fall, when uh, you want that extra protection from the wind, uh, I think I'll take it along as long as it's uh, car camping or not too long a hike in. Get out there and have fun.